Hi guys. So as of Monday the 5th of February 2024, the Grand Pavilion is officially closed. This is part of Bridgend County Borough Council's successful bid to the UK government for the Leveling Up program. The £18 million project will see the development of new facilities at the Grade 2 listed building, including function spaces on the Esplanade level, along with new rooftop function and cafe spaces. On a historical note, the Grand Pavilion was built in 1932. Back then, the cost of building the Grand Pavilion was just £25,000. But by today's equivalent, that would equate to £1.4 million. There will also be a new studio theatre, business incubation or workshop spaces at street level and increased welfare facilities including a changing places facility. The closure on Monday came after Bridgend Youth Theatre's final performance of We Will Rock You which was on Sunday the 4th of February. So for the majority of the year there's going to be a period of decommissioning where the building will be emptied of furniture and equipment as well as other fixtures and fittings. A Bridgend Council spokesman said the redevelopment will safeguard this much-loved theatre for generations to come and help offer a much more inclusive and enjoyable experience for audiences and artists alike, cementing the Grand Pavilion's position as a place where people of all ages can connect and engage with arts, culture and heritage. Councillor Rhys Good added, February 2024 marks a significant milestone in this iconic building's long history. We're delighted that we are now able to get these ambitious development plans underway. So obviously you're looking at a computer generated vision of what the Grand Pavilion will look like. The word is, as far as I know, you can correct me if I am incorrect of course, is that it's going to be closed for four years. Mr. Peter Phillips, the organiser of the town's iconic Elvis Festival, said he just hopes that the plans go ahead as scheduled. He said, short term the closure could have a bit of a negative impact on the town, but in the medium to long term we hope it will have a very positive impact. While the building is closed, Arwen, the cultural trust who run the pavilion, say they will continue to entertain audiences with a program of pop-up pavilion events at the Awal Omar Community Centre, Pothcall and in other community venues. Guys, thanks for watching. I will try and keep you up to date with other developments in town. Be happy, be well.